Danny has just uh, completed a wonderful book, uh, and he's going to tell us all about it today. And uh, uh, he's one of our founding members and most esteemed uh, uh, gurus and uh, personal consultants and loved by everybody. So right now, Dr. Manny Kagan. Yeah. Why did I write a book? I have to tell a story. Actually, going to be a few stories. I was born over 65 years ago in Riga, Latvia. I am married to the same woman for 45 years. I've been in the mortgage profession for 29 years. I have the same company for 27 years. We live in the same house for 28 years. We have the same employees for over 25 years. I have the same friends in this country for over 30 years. So people ask me, what's my secret? How I managed to do it? And I have no idea, because I don't have secrets. Until recently, I went to a seminar which was titled, Tell Your Story. Actually, it was a specially designed for people who want to tell a story. And there we had to do an exercise. Three days, we had to write something which goes back to our childhood. It would start, when I was age, and something happened, and this transformed me. For three days, I was writing my stories. And on the third day, I suddenly remembered. When I was about 13 years young, and I was a little boy, my brother came from school crying. He was younger because he's, uh, he was attacked by a bully. A bully to my brother? I had a choice. I decided I'm going to talk to this guy. I came to school, and my brother was younger, but I'm facing the guy who's as tall as I am. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he's surrounded by little boys. I wanted to talk to him. I'm not a fighter. But those little guys start bullying me. At this moment, I don't know what happened. But I clenched my fist, punched him in the face, <laughs> turned around, trembling, walk away. Later on, when I was thinking about what happened, the bullying stopped, and many other things happened with my brother and other people in my family, and people I lived with and worked with, I realized that I'm my brother's keeper. Everything what I do in my life, and perhaps this is my secret, I help other people. I fight for them. I think what's best for them. And when things are stuck getting wrong in a mortgage business, I had to find a solution. And I've written a book. It's a summary of my life and mortgage experience. I tell stories my client stories, my personal stories, and I also teach how to find the best mortgage. People often confuse best mortgage with best trade. And to do it, you have to know how to play the game. I call it the mortgage game. And to know how to play any game, you need to know rules. In mortgage, I summarize them five C's. I turn things around and I call it number one is collateral. Number two is capacity. Number three is credit. Number four is capital or cash. And number five, which connects all of them, is character. Not character of the person, but character of the transaction. Because this is what makes the difference. You have to understand what it puts all of this together. And then you can win the game. I'm going to tell you only one story from my book. But let me ask you a question. Any of you knows how to get a mortgage in heaven? <laughs> I guess you don't. Okay, so I'll tell you a story. The head of a mafia family was dying. He's lying in his deathbed, and all of his family and all his uh, lieutenants gathered around him, and he instructed three top ones, when I'll die, each of you have to put 100,000 in my coffin. And he died. So after the funeral, his major lieutenants gathered in a the restaurant. There was this chief hitman, his uh, attorney, and his banker. And the hitman, with the tears in his eyes, was saying, the boss was like a father to me, 
Without hesitation, I put 100,000 in his coffin. <laughs> Attorney said, well, he was like my best friend. I didn't even think about it, because I know that when you get to heaven, he will need to deal with a judge, St. Peter. And you know, the gates in heaven are squeaky. A little bit grease will help. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Banker said, guys, what are you talking about? When boss will get to heaven, he will know how to get in. But inside there, he'll need nice accommodation. <laughs> Villa, perhaps, with a view. And you know it's difficult to get a mortgage in heaven. <laughs> you need money for down payment. And cash is not acceptable. So, but if I would give him a gift letter from a brother. He was a real brother, right? You know that. <coughs> it will help. So I wrote a check for 300,000. I took your 200 to put in my bank account to be sure there is enough money. <laughs> and now he will be able to get a mortgage. <laughs> well, this is one of the ways to get a mortgage. <laughs> if you want to find more, you have to read the book. Now. I decided to, to give you a present. <clears throat> this is my book, and each of you will get this a present from me. Cool. Yeah. 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 If you want to autograph, I will, just will take a little bit of time after the meeting. Just like Oprah. I'll tell you what I need <laughs> in return. Better than Oprah. I'll tell you what I need in return. I'm blessed to have a lot of referrals of clients, and I'm very busy, thank God. But what I want to do, I want to educate more. For me, it's an educational tool. And to reach more people, there's different venues. I'm going to speak in the front of group, big groups. I want to talk to the companies, lunch and learn. So if you know <coughs> some companies which would like to me to come in and to have lunch, brown bag, whatever they arrange, I'll come in and for half an hour, I'll teach people what it takes to get a mortgage today. I greatly appreciate it. Just send me referrals. Don't have to think about this right now, later, but I want to be introduced. Just don't give me the name. I need because it requires a little bit more just introduction. Thank you very much. Thank you.